So here we have it. My Texas olives, which have been pitted. I have fresh ground olive leaves. Well, they were fresh when they were dried and then ground. And my Texas olive oil. Isn't this exciting? So this will be a, rather than calling it a, uh, I'm gonna have to think about this one. I'll come up with a name for it by the time you see the video because I'm going to have to give this some thought on just what I want to call it. I, th I was thinking about, I love Texas, O-L-I-V-E, all of Texas. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. All right. Now, this won't be my final container because I have to mix in my lye water and such with it. This is a smaller container, but I will go ahead and mix up my olives in my oil. To begin. And one that pours better. <laughs> this one pours terribly. It's a family piece, so I keep it. All right, now I'm going to mix them in. cedar wood, patchouli, and peppermint. What a lovely combination that cedarwood, patchouli, and peppermint is. I'm not one to make gender-specific soap. <clears throat> to me, soap is soap, and fragrances are... I love some of my favorite fragrances are florals. But I bet for the man in your life, this would be a real favorite. It is just fantastic. The smell is lovely. It's going to be a nice dark soap. I don't think it will lighten up too much, which I kind of like actually for the olive. So we'll cut this in a bit and see what we've got.
really lightened up, didn't it? <laughs> I'm always amazed. All right. and cut off that end there. Pretty simple, huh? Lovely olive oil, olive leaf, and olives. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little silly. I think we're going to have to come up with a new term. Call it the COVID crazies or something along those lines. What do you think? Because I'm a little batty. I'm getting out as little as possible. Out, I mean outside. I'm getting outside on my own property. I just mean out in public. Um, that is something that I'm trying to avoid as much as I possibly can. You know, sometimes I have to get things for the animals, for the livestock, or for myself. Um, but this smells wonderful. Mmm, <laughs> that cedarwood, patchouli, and peppermint. Gosh, I love that combination. It's a little darker in the center, but once this, now that air hits it, in a little while it'll all even out to look like the outer outside. But I wish more people would take the careful road, you know, just be a little more kind, a little more understanding that there are folks out there that are more susceptible to this uh, and just avoid those places they don't need to be. If you have to work or you have to get food or you have to get medicine for your children, of course everybody understands that. There are going to be things that just are necessary, right? That require that we do be out and about. But if possible, and we can avoid that that would be terrific. Uh, this is new territory for all of us, and I know we're getting sick of it. I know that people are tired of hearing about it, talking about it, thinking about it. Uh, and I fully understand. I really do. I kind of feel the same way. I don't, you know, every time I hear another news report about it, I'm just like, oh, really? <laughs> Must we? So there you have it. Lovely Texas olive. I just think it smells wonderful and I can hardly wait to try it. I hope you enjoyed this too. Have a terrific day everyone and I'll see you back soon. Goodbye.